In this video, we will explore what happens once a model is published from CISQ to Estimation MEP. I will also answer for you the following questions. What is an audit trail? What is Trimble Labor? And where do the material prices come from? Let's get started. After publishing a model from CISQ, an estimate is automatically created within Estimation MEP with the project name as was defined within Revit. Appended to the end of the estimate name is a date and timestamp for you to find the correct version published. Once you open the estimate, you're brought to the audit trail. To an estimator, an audit trail is a list of every takeoff entry for this estimate. So in the context of model-based estimating, the audit trail lists every individual object that was selected in your model and published to Estimation MEP. You'll notice that each row contains a description, a size, a quantity, and then material prices and labor hours. The material price comes from Trimble's industry-leading content provider, Trade Service, and it is manufacturer published list prices. The labor for electrical items is based on Acubit's historical labor units, often called ASL1, Acubit Column 1, or Acubit Normal. For mechanical items, the labor is a more competitive version of MCAA's component labor units. Now you may notice that some of your items do not contain a material price. This would happen if this was a specialty item that is priced on availability, requiring you to get a quote from your distributor. There is a video in the video library that walks you through how to adjust the prices manually or how to get distributor quotes. If the item does not contain either a material price or labor hours and contains the source code of custom, this is because this was a non-Trimble item or because we do not yet support the mapping for this item. You can visit the custom items screen to add the material price and labor hours. This will then update all of the instances or records of this item within this estimate. This concludes this introduction video. As a quick refresher, let's take a look at the answer to the questions that we said we would have answered. The first, what is an audit trail? The answer is that it's a list of every individual object that was selected in your model and published to Estimation MEP. The second question, what is Trimble Labor? The answer for electrical is that it is based on the Acubid Normal or ASL1 units. For mechanical, it's a more competitive version of MCAA's component labor. The last question that we've reviewed was where do material prices come from? The answer to the question is that it's based on Trimble's industry leading content provider trade service and the prices are manufacturer published list price. The next video that you'll want to explore is a review of the summary screen. As a quick teaser, it will help you to understand why you see fewer items on summary than you do in the audit trail. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.